We're gonna do our best. We will try our best and we won't succeed. Yeah, probably, to be honest. Welcome back to the Venice series where the skill issue monarchy, the skill issue confederation and Italy which has absolutely no skill issues at all regarding being a republic, poor, bad mill tech or anything like that are pushed up against the Alpine mountains in a war against Burgundy and Scandinavia where we outnumbered them and should have been winning but the Danubian confederation made some mistakes and ended up getting about 200 brigades stack wiped around Baden. I know, it might be painful to watch such horrible defeats constantly in this series, but I tried to soften the blow by playing some fun music over it. This ongoing war doesn't just involve Burgundy and Scandinavia, they also have Batavia, who is just an infamy slave for Scandinavia, Ethiopia, who's opportunistically joined for more African colonies, and Japan, whose presence in this war I can't really pinpoint to anything other than coping for the loss against China. We're going to see a lot more from Ethiopia and Japan in the rest of this part after this war is wrapped up. At the end of the last part you saw that the dual monarchy is getting a substitute for this session. Someone who might have what it takes to turn their situation around, and might also be able to impart some wisdom on Italy to solve our internal political problems. The dual monarchy isn't the only one being substituted for this upcoming session, there's also like five other people including the host. And it actually includes our other ally in this war, the Danubian Confederation, but he's not being substituted by anyone we know, in fact he's being substituted by a completely newish player. Zarao and China are being substituted, but also Spambot himself can't make it, so he's put that hosting power onto a sort of dual gm key between Scandinavia and Hungary, Big Weevil. Speaking of hosting, there is something in the rules that I'd like to draw your attention to that might be important later, and that is the allowance of separate surrenders. That means an individual participant in a war is allowed to surrender unilaterally and pull out of the war while the rest of their allies can keep fighting. Most of this just explains how it works but here in the brackets is the key part and this is why the rule exists. It's so that countries don't get indefinitely occupied and sat on in a war that they've lost but the rest of their alliance hasn't and the rest of the alliance doesn't want to surrender just for that one occupied country to peace out. Playing under this rule is in direct contrast to the Hungary cinematic universe which some of you might remember or if you haven't seen it I recommend it. In that campaign we weren't allowed to separately surrender so now we get to experience it the other way where nations can separately surrender out of wars. The last thing I want to remind you of before we get into the events of the video is that Russia has declared war on Poland to continue that conquest. Poland doesn't really stand a chance even though they have one of the best regions in the game, Bohemia, featuring the city of Nation Ruinberg. Anyway, let's snap back to reality. We're currently pushed back to the Danubian Alps in this war where we've had skill issues. Is a temporary change in dual monarchy leadership enough to get us out of this mess? And if it isn't, what other wisdom can the dual monarchy bring that might help Italy? Spark, I'm curious, did you have a pacifist party before the war? Or did you get an unlucky wartime election? No, nah, before the war. There's absolutely nothing yeah. I can do about it. I looked in the save and it looked like the other conservative party, which was the pro military one, was like close to winning in terms of the total like uh, percentage of votes. So if you got You've analyzed my country more than me, zombie. Yeah, like the politics of your country. <laughs> if you spam elections and you pick the options that respond to the other conservative party's issues, you should get elected eventually. Over the shitty ass, that's your fair ones anyway. Well, I am spamming an election every time. Most of your armies are white, but you have a few in the south. You're at least about to attack with a five attack in Bavaria. You're going to attack the province next to it. You need to actually swap your general. You need to swap it to a plus 40 attack. A 40 um, speed. Fucking hell, I wish. <laughs> You're in at the deep end, POW. Listen, zombie, um, I'm about to attack like one province with my five attack, but there's another battle going on next to it. It's going bad, yeah. but they outnumber me. I might need to move there instead. No, listen, at this point we have to do risky plays, and I'm going to start battles in Danubia adjacent to the battle they started. Are you listening to this, POW? Yeah. We're going to try one last uh, move. If that doesn't work, then we can surrender. If we get gutsy a lot, anglo our Patriots are going to pop in a moment. It's only like a 4% chance each month that they pop. We just have to hope for the best. I've taken those odds to get ironclads before. You know, <laughs> I think we can do it. Yeah, there's also Irish nationals about to rise up as well. What form in Canada? Linz or Munich? Yeah, I attacked, but I didn't get my four in because I didn't have time to fucking. I've engaged them with a, uh, some kind of Freiburg. They retreated from that. Scandi is retreating. Oh my god, oh my god, I might get. Holy shit, what the fuck? Look in the. I'm cutting them off. Yeah. Landshut. They retreated from even Landshut. 
Attack, Damn. attack, attack everywhere, everywhere. Go, 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 go. I don't know if I can, but yeah, go, go, go. Get to Ingolstadt. Let's go. He's attacking I'm trying to catch that. I want to make. Getting artillery. I don't know. Is that a fucking multi province? Wait. No. No, it's not. Me we need to get there. that battle in Karlsruhe. That's important. Yeah. Come on, Duba. Just run, run. We encircle him. Finish him off. I moved all my units off the, the other front because I had to. Yeah. When we win Mannheim, that's what we do. We, we should also attack Strasbourg. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, just, got my five here. attack. That is a huge battle in there, but it's fine. Can you move up your troops to Italy? You've got tons in the I see the back. I'm attacking Kaiser a lot and I think that's okay. We just have to Nine one roll. They're doing a big they're doing a big offensive, so we just have to not falter at this point. Yeah, that, that battle might not be good because I just got a bad roll, but I am reinforcing it. Can you go in with your 18k, please? Let's get yes, this yes, battle. Yes, 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 we, no, can, can, we can they, do no, it. They can circle, they can circle. Oh it is? Okay. I'm I'm i I'm going out. You see the Irish Patriots? They rose up, holy shit. Oh, they rose? Okay, they retreat. The what are we doing? Do we attack Strasbourg? I can bring my five attack. Okay, attack. The Burgundy units are going to be running over now. From... I've got a, a three defense. Three defense. I'm trying to get. Yeah, I got cut off by German miners. Oh, I, oh dude, 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 I'm restoring order right now. What the fuck? Oh my god, Ireland! Holy shit, do it, do it, do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello, this is the base department. We're very impressed with your work. <laughs> the base department would like a word with Ireland right now. Scandi's got a big army back there in, in Burgundy. He does. They're attacking in the north. They're attacking. They Scandi's sort of reinforced already, it seems. No commander. Can I get your commander in there, zombie, please? Anything you have, like a commander. Yeah. Moving in. Uh, I think this might be over. Okay, we have, we're gonna have to pull back, I think. You need to reinforce Heilbronn. Oh, yeah, that's a bad one. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go for a big tick in this battle. I don't have that many units in it, though. Scandi's doing more encirclements of Nuremberg. What, how do we respond? How did he reinforce so quickly? What happened? He's got good industry. He's doing more, further encirclements now. He's trying, at least. We have a big problem with reinforcement. Yeah, I think we should surrender. So, yeah, I think it might be over now, sadly. As much as I wish it wasn't. Yeah, I escaped these troops. Well, we tried. I suppose we can probably surrender now. I'm, I'm gonna get Ireland back. Infamy games. Um, didn't know that was allowed in this game. I should wait with annexing Ireland because it's gonna increase the war score if I don't do that. True. I got decent reinforcement. It's just that Scandinavia had so much more. The Nubian Confederation hasn't said a word in the whole war, by the way. Yeah. But yeah, I would spend election spot. Try to get that other conservatives in power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, acquire Senegal. Is that on me? Yeah, whatever. I've got a peace deal right now. Um, check the war don't accept. Check the war score with them. Like, see if it's above or below hundred. Yeah, I sure. will go back to them. Ulster, Rhone, Munster, Senegal, Ife. Ninety-two. That's it. Yeah, that's I'm sending it. Yeah. it. All right. Are well, they accepted? That's it. Huh? It's time to peace out of Ireland. Time to peace out. I'm dropping out of GP now, which is a big problem for me. Japan's a glorified infamy gimp. After losing, yeah. you know the situation. I mean, he lost to China recently. I know it. It's pretty funny. And he just becomes just I don't know nothing. A joke after that. What I need, zombie. Obviously, you know, I need to become communist. That's a really good hope for me. How do wait, I... Is, it, wait, is your commie party like any good? Because then vanilla it's kind of bad. It's pro-military. Is there any way I can get the rebels? I mean, no. I th like, you could nation ruin, but that would be, wouldn't be worth it in the long run because you're actually doing <laughs> the pops, So I mean, staying in that war longer, getting blockaded, right? But honestly, if you just get the other guys to 
like the uh, conservatives, it isn't the worst because they're actually pro military too. Anyway, my sphere empire is about to collapse because I'm dropping out of GP, so you better look for a new sphere, Lord Kark. I can sphere you! Yeah, uh, do that. No, do that, Weevil. You keep entering the same common market, just through different ways. Do you remember when we were children and we became <laughs> blood brothers and we said if one of us ever drops out of great power, we'll sphere the other one? And then, and then select yeah. the, the issues that correspond with a good conservative party. What do you mean, select the issues? But when you have an election, you get like election events that gives you like, oh, 10% oh, of the pops or oh, jingoism. And then choose I... the ones, choose the ones that correspond with the oh, good yeah. conservatives. No, I should have been doing that the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> I've just got it pointed out that my justification on the Ottomans is going to take 3,000 3, days. Oh, Skill issue. That's a 10 years, actually. Almost 10 years. Oh, shit. That's a real war. That's my sphere thing. Uh, the same party won again. Here's another election, guys. Oh, great. I need to select protectionism. Oh, this event doesn't give me anything other than free trade. Yeah, then you just have to lower the damage by choosing the... <laughs> this is the first time I actually read these events. If you play USA, you'll get to know them very well, because you need them to... <laughs> I was wondering why you went in my sphere for that short. Did I remove you last week? Yeah. Yeah, for money. I got an event that decreased the CB generation speed, minus 25, it's back to 2000. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking event. Yo, militant socialists, is that any good? Oh, that's a shitty one. They're gonna make your democracy... Militant socialists real. make a socialist democracy. They suck. What's my socialist party? Not that I, I'm not that I'm gonna do it. They're pacifists. But they're state capitalists. When my sphere's getting better, we discovered oil. Nice, that's a really huge benefit of you spearing me. I'll be a naval power eventually, so... When am I getting Wallachia wheel? When I get Sierra Leone. Can I give you a colony that is not one of my connected ports? No, I want Sierra Leone. Bro. Why Sierra Leone specifically? <laughs> one, because I had it, and two, because there's Hungarians. 6% Hungarian. And I guess I'll do it. It's not every day you see Taiwanatsu beat America. <sighs> well, I mean, it's because I have way more fucking days. So. Natural Rock, you're winning. You don't have to sound like you're compl- I mean- Sounds like you're complaining about it. Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. He's like, complaining that wait, it couldn't have been a better fight. I just got the minus 25% event again uh, for the justification. <laughs> The Sikh Empire. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. he's clawing his way in to the north. Yeah, you should protect that. Demand capital concession. Oh, I do not. Marksman. It sounds like a cult. I don't know how to put this best. You're fucked. <laughs> Aryan Am actually declared first, so he might be able to outspeed the Chinese. Come on. What makes yeah. you think they're not working together, Marksman? And listen, guys. Spain, Hungary, Italy, Aryan Am, the old hug box, was always destined to come back together. Mediterranean Axis? And the dual monarchy. Mediterranean Alliance? Remember when Green Force helped us? Yeah, the whole thing is coming back. The hug box is back together. Boys are back in town. Alright, Spud, I'm gonna deck the spear on you in... Two days. Okay, I will be ready to instantly. I can acquire core on you. No. Not he declined it. He declined it. Just give it a day. Oh, there we go. Big Weevil walks again. Marksman, I know I'm not your sphere or in your sphere, but I'm about to upgrade ports. Could you fund that? Just request a grant. I just got the plus justification in Turkey event. I did it. It's gone up. It's only taken 200 days. Select the, the issues that correspond with the good conservative party. Who won the election? The same people again. Then yeah, Nube could take on a sphere. And then we me and Italy join on a quick call to arms. And if, if Burgundy joins Scandi's truce plan, we just run him over. We should have done that fucking ages ago. The truce is up in two years, but yeah, we should do it. Aren't you truced with the spheres? They? They're in the war. Oh, they are truced, yeah, because they joined their side. I thought they joined. Yeah. One of them didn't. Fucking Darmstadt. That famously wasn't in the war. Danubians just banned my influence. Oh. In but that's a Danubian sphere.
Yeah, I'm starting to not like this fucking Ethiopian Japan working with Burgundy and Scandi. Maybe you should mm, help us. It's perhaps as if I exactly. told you this. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just work with us. Lizard is straight up admitted he is in the game just to troll. By the way, if I join this war and Ethiopia is in it, I want Ethiopian territory. Can we make that clear? Let's fucking do this, Kark. All right. Kardistan is released. Show release vassal decisions. Uh, restore order on uh, Kurdistan. You actually got a core on it. Is Kurdistan voting rights rescinded? Fuck, why can't I do that? Jesus. I release Kurdistan and they immediately do the thing I've been trying to do the whole game. I can't release Pontus. Oh. Like, it doesn't show up in the list. Is Pontus by chance a cultural union? Hey, Crafter. Hi. Is Crafter, I'm back in Africa, bro. I see that. I'm coming after you. I hope you do. Is this man here? Nine percent Hungarians, bro. Okay. The province is going to be Hungarian as fuck. Don't care. Please stop talking. Is this man here? Hungarian as fuck. Oh my god! I'm going to mute him. Burgundy's mobilizing. Burgundy's mobilizing. We should get troops on the border, Danubia. I'm losing a lot of money, so hopefully Spain actually has money. So because that means his fear. Spain's fucking. Shit! Shit! No! 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 I just accidentally went to sanctions. No! Oh my oh. god! Can we revert? Uh, fuck. Good luck arguing it to the host, though, but... Well, it was your own fault. Marksman, no. 42 infamy. Okay, yeah, that's way above. Yeah, he we just justified oh, another damn, war goal. How do you do 42, man? Fuck. These are fucking massive numbers we're pulling. Jesus, so man. Why did you cancel the war goal? Could have at least gone along with it. This is a moment. All right, listen, um... Right, right as I... Right as I... Italy, click, Italy, I Italy, realize. Italy. Can I, listen, Italy, can I yeah. get your four in the north? Because I have a suspicion that's where they're going to attack. Okay, I used to have two five attacks, they have both died. I don't know how I'm gonna cope with this, honestly. You could seethe with it. Do you know it. how you're gonna seethe with it? Leave all! I can give you money, zombie request. Thanks. I'll Even after work. sanctions? Yeah, I'm still making 5k a day, and I have 9 Holy in the space. Brilliant. I'm actually making money funding my army right now. Somehow. This Hungarian sphere. Mm. Arcadia's mm. in the Burgundy and Scandi chat and mobilizing, so, uh. Well, I oh, can't say any troops yet. I just got a different conservative party than one. Interventionist? Pro military! I got interventionist pro military. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm, I'm not dead. Are you ready? Are you ready, everybody? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Listen, you need to be super fast and accept that Colt Arms uh, PW, okay? So you get truth blocked out, right? Okay. We am gonna call wait, you wait, in. Wait, three, wait, wait, stop, two, stop, stop, stop. 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 Why doesn't Danubian deck on Burgundy? Huh? Call oh, all yeah. allies. Just do it. Call me by your name. Call I'm me in, by your name. Man of war. So, Ethiopia again. Wow, Ethiopia. I'm just joining the war for Ife. Absolute retard. Just joining yeah, the we war for Ife. We're rushing in north. We're gonna use that to our advantage this time. Crafter, let it be known, remember, he said he joined the last war because he has Ife. He wants Sierra Leone. Why did Hungary join? Nice Hungary. I figured Crafter would join, so I wanted Here. to join. That's fair. Pause. Yeah, the new bed. Your objective is rush into those like AI states, occupy them, and then attack them from there. We're gonna try to rush around. Zombie attack Oxair now, please. Do it, man. Is that Japan joining? Hey, actually, can oh, you I'm, about, I'm about to get decked. I'm about to get decked by China and Japan. Join this war. Um, wait. Can you still jo join? Oh no, no, fuck you. Ethiopia, Japan, they'll all fucking pay. I, I have a meta grudge against Japan I'm actually, too. I'm gonna get Spambot to kick Lizard from the fucking game. Cause he's, he's a troll. You like, can do that too. You're, you're, leaving open. Open. You're, leave, you're leaving Minden open! You're leaving- oh, The Nubia! I need help oh, in the northern sorry. battle, I'm taking 10k casualties. Zombie, the northern battle. Yeah, I'm moving in. 
That's three of my stacks depleted to zero in that battle. Three stacks. We won castle. Let's attack Scandi in the south. Let's attack Macon as well, because we can. We have way more in the south. Okay, zombie. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Fuck, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, sure. We are kind of breaking through in general. Great, I'm encircled. I'm gonna pull out of Frankfurt. Oh, Your row okay. joined against me. Are you serious? They're running away from the front line. Exactly. Just keep keep pressuring. Keep pressuring. You guys got this. Keep Mark following on, up on them. Uh, Mula, I'm, I'm going into there with my troops. We actually break them here. They will completely collapse. Oh, I can encircle the Danubians. Yeah. Not the Danubians. The fucking cave. Mulan is one. Follow up. Follow up to that plane. Let's go. Yeah, go that go, plane go, go, go. is really go good. Ahead. And I'm following up in the fucking uh, Besançon in the forest. Yeah. Maybe we can get Danubian support there too. Danubi, you have so many troops down south. Like our They're retreating. Retreat. Yeah. Follow up to Shomo. Follow up. Follow up. Yeah. Complete follow ups to Sh Shalons as well. North. Danubia, you have a 150k stack. You can use it in Castle. I'm following up. Danubia, are you here? Move in the south, Danubia. You've got. We're breaking in the south. I need you to move in yeah, the go, south. Yeah, go, 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 go. Danubia, are you here? Listen, oh. man. This is your ch this is your time to shine. This, this is a chance to look in the spot oh. on series. Yeah. Attack, attack. Oh my god, look at Alsace. Go through Alsace. Go through Alsace. Look. Yeah, go through Alsace. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Attack them, attack them, attack them. You know, we're absolutely crushing them. Follow up. Follow up to that forest. Nancy? Yeah. And Charleville. Yeah. Oh, that forest zombie in the north. We need more than that. That's big. Oh, they have a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Verdun. They can they're moving from Verdun to encircle. Please, Danube. Yeah, you do not need 150k to speed on that one. Yeah. Just attack everywhere. Attack everywhere. Now the Nubia. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go with the Nubia. Attack, attack everywhere. Everywhere you can. You just right click your armies into their fucking armies. That's what you just do. constantly oh. attack. Okay. I knew we were winning hard. I didn't know we were winning this hard. We could be winning even harder. Attack fucking um, Verdun and all its province around. Move to Luxembourg. Right oh my god, move to Luxembourg. Yeah. Go so just, just send them. shit through. There's a real dispute going on elsewhere. Oh, it's over. And you know what else is over? Spanish India, so... I know. You know what else is over? Burgundian and Scandinavian control. Follow up to Verdun. Attack, attack, attack. We need an attack in Metz. Look at Metz. Metz, zombie, and Danubia. Metz. Whatever. Attack our line, please. No, please, yes. Attack. Now attack Charleville and the forest. We need that forest battle now. And attack Charleville. Do not let them escape. And we'll end the forest, right? That's Except it. That Hungary did Except it. And you're, you're in it too, good. I surrender! I surrendered. Those motherfuckers. I'm adding Ife, by the way. I'm adding my chorus, obviously. You fucking cripple Ethiopia, please. That is not alliance wide. I have to read the rules again. So it's not a full alliance surrender. They, they did what you said they would do. The, the, the rules they have allowed that. Whatever. Listen, if we just take a hundred off Burgundy and stalemate the rest of the war. What can we do? Well, Sierra Leone's valuable, it's gold. I know, but uh, what can we do? Finally, a win in this campaign. Can we think seriously about our next moves as well as thinking about the peace deal? There are three wars going on right now. I did warn you that the world was about to go completely mental a couple of episodes ago. In the next part we're going to see the separate peace deal with Burgundy and then our next moves in this war. And then many other events from all over the world including Spain. Before we discuss the three ongoing wars and a little bit of analysis of the war at the start of this video, as usual I like to start with the Americas, and two American wars happened within the space of this video, one in the north and one in the south. You might have noticed that in the previous video Arcadia formed, I panned over to it very briefly to show you. The Belgian Confederacy was crowned victor of this American bloodbath, the North America of this campaign was a very fun story, you had Scandinavia backing Vinland originally, and then due to some skill issues from Vinland he revoked that, and we also got a spin-off episode about Vinland. There's still something very weird about that Scandinavian withdrawal from supporting Vinland, and there's still some stuff we don't quite know yet that we might learn later. 
So Ching Chu was an ally of that Belgian confederacy and Gran Colombia was an enemy. That's continued and they had an easy 2v1 against Gran Colombia and this is the land that they took. Lots of cores for Ching Chu but instead of going down the coastline as you might expect, Arcadia opted to saw Gran Colombia in half. That is actually a very good move for two reasons. First of all, it does great damage to Gran Colombia's ability to resist in further wars, while easily avoiding that enclave rule that was actually mentioned in the Vinland spin-off where you can't cut off a nation without coastline. But the second reason is that Arcadia learned that the Incas is actually supporting Gran Colombia and might help them in the future. So taking this region prevents the Incas from being able to effectively help Gran Colombia and forming a simple front line that goes through Central America where they would have to fight each other. And that scenario might lead to a very long war, which Arcadia is very worried about because like Italy, he's a republic. Terrible economy, bad military production. Italy is not suffering through this alone. So speaking of the Incas, Italy's friend, ally and former feeling, they had a war down in South America. This war was a lot more brutal than the one up north, a lot more death in the horrible rainforest terrain down here. But ultimately our former Ottoman player Virtual Rock won this, and the land that he took was all up in the north of America, which connects him to Gran Colombia, which like I said, means he could help them. The land that he got in the rainforest area was actually just colonised, he didn't take that from America. A solid victory for this ally of Italy. As we end this episode, there are three wars going on. One of these wars is already pretty much over, and that is the great betrayal of Spain and the end of his conquest of India. His former comrades in that conquest, Zorao and Japan, have joined forces with China instead and are kicking him out of India. In their last war against the Mughal Empire in the previous part, they released the Sikh Empire from them, but China actually used that to start expanding into northern India himself. Doubtless a lot of diplomacy has been going on between Spain, Japan, Zorao and China here, and I don't really know the details of all of it, but in the end, they've decided to betray Spain, and Zorao and Japan are feeding the beast instead of standing up to it. Even though Japan lost the conquest and they allowed China to form, they still could stand up to it. They can prevent them getting any stronger, they can blockade them, they can hold the Korean mountains instead of fighting a massive front against China. But I suppose there's an element of greed here. If Japan and Zorao betray Spain, they get access to a lot more expansion of his former Indian land. It's by no means a bad move at all. It's a pretty good move, really. The only potential consequences of it are long term with what they're doing with China. If they're willing to backstab Spain for Indian land when they have the military advantage on the subcontinent, what's to stop China from doing that in the future? He'll have overwhelming numbers. There was nearly a possibility that I could have gotten Spain out of this. I quickly asked him to join the European war, which would have blocked Japan from decking on him. And since Japan didn't use a justified Cass's belly, him joining the European war wouldn't have been seen as avoiding that. But nearly a month had passed since the European war had been declared, so he couldn't join it without using three months. Japan declared war on him using containment, which is above 25 infamy. Spain was much higher than 25 infamy. He was also higher than the sanctions threshold of 32.5. What a disaster for Spain to go to sanctions. He actually started justifying on Baroda, realised it was way too much infamy, but just before he cancelled it, he got caught. His highly robust economy is helping weather the storm through these sanctions, but it's still very tough. Ethiopia also joined this betrayal of Spain, and Ethiopia and Spain have done a lot of transfers and they've been friendly before. Not exactly allies, but they did work together, for example, against Hungarian Sierra Leone. Maybe Ethiopia is annoyed that Hungary got that back from Spain. Ethiopia obviously has a lot of land to gain from Spain as well, loads of these colonies are up for grabs, but he's making another person hate him. That list is growing. Hungary, Italy and now Spain despise this nation. The rank opportunism, the fact that he's allied in the African hug box with the only neighbour on his continent. Instead of doing diplomacy for these African colonies, he's just joined wars that he has absolutely nothing to do with, for example the European wars to get them. And where he has done negotiations for African colonies, like with Spain, he just betrays them anyway. I'll talk more about Ethiopia when we get on to the subject of that European war. But first, there's another Asian war that we need to talk about involving China. They invaded Russia. Italy's good friend Arya Nam joined this as well. Italy and Arya Nam have been drifting apart lately and Arya Nam is off doing things like this, making friends with China and making an enemy of Russia, which is something Italy doesn't really want to do. I spent a lot of time trying to sort out this border between me and Arya Nam. This Trabzon region here, there's a lot of Greeks in the two northern provinces and a lot of Kurds, his accepted pops, in the southern ones, but we can't split it, so I just let him have it. This Caucasus border between Russia and Arya Nam is a real stalemate due to that gigantic buffer state of Georgia going across most of it. So most of the fighting in this war is up in China's front. Zarao is in the war too, but he hasn't really sent any troops anywhere. We'll see the result of this one in the next part. 
a massive new European war has started, but at the start of this video we just saw the end of the previous one. Zombie came in doing a lot of research on the save to try and give us some new ideas on how we could have won that, but the situation was too bad, not even Zombie could recover that one. And his expert skill and analysis was kind of balanced out by a completely new player going on Danubians. Zombie gave him a clear objective to attack Augsburg, even putting in a plus 40% speed general to get there, because it was critical to winning this. That's because we might have been able to catch and cut off all these Burgundian troops at this part of the front. If we managed to do this, that could have been a victory on the scale of their wiping of 200 Danubian brigades in the last part, which would have evened the war and given us a pretty big chance of coming back. But as it turned out, most of these Burgundian troops got away, they were able to replenish, reinforce, come back, outnumber us again and win. So that's fine, I don't think anyone was expecting a miracle at the situation we saw at the start of this video, but there was an Irish miracle. The dual monarchy lost three regions in the peace deal for that war, but he got one back, which also happens to be his most populous one. So the damage done by this peace deal was greatly offset by the luck of the Irish and their rebels that came back to the dual monarchy. So now we fast forward from the defeat in that war to the next war where we've already defeated Burgundy. The German minor states were the key to their victory in the last one and they turned out to be the key to our victory in this one. I think Scandinavia and Burgundy who have pulled off so many great victories this campaign really dropped the ball on this one with their strategy. They just sat there and tried to defend their whole border. Whereas their success in previous wars have been their dynamic movements, encirclements and offensives everywhere. They were holding their front line all the way down here to the Borgogna region, where we were able to start bleeding their armies out to the point where they couldn't do anything other than a constant retreat and then they got cut off by the German offensive. If they were holding a deeper line within Burgundy, they might have been able to pull off some counter-attacks and offensives and held a more consolidated line. Despite koalas having smooth brains, this one was able to learn from the last war and use that directly against them in the next. And Italy was able to contribute with an army that was on pro-military instead of pacifist and slightly better mil tech than before. And let's not forget, of course, we also got Hungary helping us, which was a massive aid on that German front that made up for the scale issues of the new Danubia player. Them bringing in Ethiopia into these European wars has finally backfired. That's the direct reason we managed to get Hungary on our side this time. But now Burgundy has surrendered separately and they're going to be pieced out of this war. The Danubians and the dual monarchy are going to get significant territorial concessions, but what are we going to do next? Is Scandinavia just going to blockade us and stalemate out of this war for the rest of England and Ireland? Or has the fact that Scandinavia has not organised a proper blockade of us yet in the Mediterranean given us an opportunity to go somewhere on a great expedition on someone who deserves it, with the owner of the Suez Canal, Spain, being more than willing to let people go through it to invade this country, the country that made Italy and Hungary hate them and then made Spain hate them. In the next part of the Venice series, we're invading Ethiopia.